Hey there, this is Brayden back with another GIMP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be doing this stylization like it's a VHS tape that has been horribly, horribly distorted. Um, and of course, we're pushing a little more past the bounds of realism into the bounds of stylization like this person is a hologram or maybe in some sort of neon club scenario. Um, but of course, using the techniques uh, that you learn in this tutorial, you can push more toward realism if you're just looking for a kind of authentic VHS distortion that you want to apply to your images. I think it's a really fun technique. It's a little bit of an easier technique, less time intensive technique, um, which is fine considering the last videos were like 20 and 40 minutes respectively. So it'll be good to get something um, a little less time intensive out there. Um, so with that said, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial, have fun, and uh, let's jump in. Okay, so I've taken the liberty of opening up this image right here already and resizing it a little bit. I think the actual stock image that I first got was something like 3,000 pixels long. Um, didn't want that for this tutorial, so now we have a reasonably sized image and uh, we're ready to get going. So the first thing you're going to want to do is duplicate the first layer. And with that layer selected, go to Colors colorize and this will just apply one color uniformly to all of the color values of an image I mean, we can actually leave it at 180 right now I'm going to be using teal and red for my two color combination alternatively you could use um, green you could use purple and red um, there's quite a few ways to make it look distorted but for this case we're going to be using teal and just a note on the actual images that you're using as a whole it typically looks best when the image has a large diversity in color. So we can go from like the cigarette here is almost completely white to the shadows of the hood being almost completely black, as well as some variation, like even on the skin itself. These are all some nice mid-tones, but you have some white on the bridge of the nose, um, as well as contrasting with these shadows right here. Um, in addition, the hair contrasts quite a bit, and the smoke as well um, kind of all adds to the effect. And the more contrast you have, um, the better it's going to look. If it's too bright of an image, the whole thing is going to look washed out with the settings that I'm using. Um, the effect can still work, but you will need to adjust some brightness settings on each of the layers that you're using in a way that's unique to every image. So keep that in mind when making this. It's a handy tip. So with this layer selected, we'll change the blending mode to lighten only and then we'll just shift it over a few pixels. Um, so you want to find an anchor point on the image that you can use to reference. In this case, I'm using um, the cigarette because it very clearly shows how far I've moved over the image because it's a hard edge and very recognizable. Um, so that's one half of it. And then we'll duplicate this bottom layer again and we'll go colors, colorize one more time. And this time we'll change the hue to 360, which the other hue was 180. This would be the exact opposite, which of course is a nice red, as you can see here on the layer selector. So we'll grab the move tool using M and then move this over an exact opposite. Oh, and the reason the reason it doesn't look, um, we're not getting the three is because we're not on light and only. So we'll need to do that as well. And then you move it so you get sort of the three, and you can already see how the yellow, or the blue and the red have combined to make a sort of purple right here, um, and a halftone effect, or not a halftone effect, but like a, a very old VCR style effect. Um, I'm doing a little more pronounced version of the effect. You could also uh, move them quite close together to get like a very subtle type of effect, just a subtle blurring on the edge, which would probably be a more realistic scenario. Um, again, one thing you do need to watch out for is that um, with these two close on top to each other, the colors of the original image are kind of lost. And if you want to fix that, um, you have a few different options. The first of which that I'm going to be doing um, to really pronounce the shadows as well is to duplicate the bottom layer one more time and move that all the way up to the top. And you could set it on color, which would set the color immediately and you'd only have the different um, blurs you have, and then you can also then reduce the opacity of that layer a little bit to keep some of the colors you got. And so this keeps the color while making it a little more realistic. This is um, probably going towards a more realistic end. Um, alternatively, you can just set the layer mode on overlay to sort of deepen the shadows and go for a more pronounced effect, which is what I'm going to be doing right here. Um, and you do, again, wash out some of the original color and you really go for the red and the blues. So this is certainly a more stylized effect. And then the very uh, last thing I'm going to do, or I'm actually going to be doing two more things, uh, make a new layer on top of everything yet. 
and then we're going to fill this in with scan lines. So um, on your paint bucket tool, make sure you have pattern fill selected and then select a, this stripes pattern right here that GIMP should have selected. They have two sizes of stripes patterns, a little smaller, a little larger. I'm going to be using the larger one. Um, if your image is huge and you want to work on that sort of huge image, then what will happen is that these stripes will be too small for your image. So you can then go and make your own pattern um, for a stripes pattern and there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube and the internet of how to make your own GIMP pattern. So uh, making sure we have fill hole selection selected and pattern fill. Let's just fill it in with stripes and then I'll also put these on overlay. Um, and we'll maybe tone the opacity down quite a bit. Um, so that maybe is hard to see on YouTube, but if we can scroll in, you can really see the stripes as they're going. Uh, if you wanted to make the stripes a little stronger, that's just an option. You can duplicate the layer and then go colors invert. And this will also lighten the overall image. And then you can move the white stripes down a little bit. So you have a contrasting uh, sort of pattern of black and white stripes. Um, and that will also brighten the image as a whole. And then the final thing I'd like to do is increase the saturation of the image one more time. So one more layer, layer new from visible. And again, that takes all of the visible layers we have and presses them into one layer and moves it on top of everything. Um, and then we'll go colors. And then we want to go hue saturation. And I'll just be increasing the saturation quite a bit. Um, and now you have sort of like a very fancy, very stylized um, VCR effect. Um, so yeah, this tutorial is relatively simple, um, but even still, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll be back with another tutorial uh, by the end of the week, definitely perhaps sooner. And so keep your eyes peeled and definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, and I hope you guys have a nice rest of your week. Thanks for watching.